Hey everybody, it's Adam the Red, and welcome back to Analog of Hate Story. I've been meaning to go back and play this again for the past few weeks or so, and I just fucking never got around to it. Sitting down to record an hour-long episode is a lot more, um, intensive for me than doing a couple of 15 or 20 minute episodes here and there. But in any case, uh, while I was editing the very first episode, I noticed that we... Well, that, uh, I'm sorry, we... I noticed that I had missed, um... The reason I couldn't continue is I missed uh, the option to talk to her in two separate uh, in two separate messages, and I think it was yeah, broken promises is one of them. Okay. The pale bride did keep an extensive diary. I'll try to find you some more entries. Okay, so that should have generated some more stuff for us. And yeah, this was the uh, the log where the pale bride, as of yet unnamed, and I believe, of course, we need her name in order to uh, access the computer systems, which I think is the in-game uh, goal, I believe. Well, that, that's the reason I, th I think I'm here, is that I'm supposed to be uh, downloading the ship's primary um, uh, server information or something along those lines, but... Um, so yeah, Broken Promise was, was was one, and then we're also looking... Jesus. Uh, I want to go and grab the villain two. Confidence. Yeah. Well, that fear turned out to be completely unfounded. You'll see why soon enough you read more about the Pale Bride. Okay. And this was New Life is in the Idea because Smiles. You could reconsider the entering years of age, I have no confidence in seeing a few years. Okay, yeah. How could I possibly be the young bride? Right. Okay. So. We now have... New... Contempt, by example. And I don't remember... Oh, right. Okay, this is new here. Okay, so. Uh, none of these are new, then. So we're going to start with a held prisoner by the new bride. This should be, um... And it's right after Insufferable Child here. You want to do your 319. Okay, well. This promise is to be promising. And we can talk to her as well. Dear Diary, today I was forced to stay in the home all day. I didn't get to leave yesterday, or the day before that, or the day before that, or the day before that, or any other day either. I want to write about how much the ship has changed since I was put into stasis. How much of it has changed? Oh, you weren't just put on stasis on Earth or anything. That makes a little more sense about what went on the ship then. You were actually one of the earlier generate. You were a part of the earlier population then. And for whatever reason, you were... So wait a minute. I, I had assumed that something that had happened on Earth to cause this cultural recession. Or, well, I, uh, regression into older cultural norms. But no, 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 this actually makes a lot more sense when I think about it in context here. This is making it sound like, okay, if she was on the ship when she was put into stasis and therefore was a member of the uh, original or an older generation on the generation arc, then some point between being put into stasis, there was some sort of collapse or something happened to dramatically change the way things work. Because she says how yeah, people are so stupid now. So it was a change on the ship itself. And uh, given that it's a, a you know, generation ship and you have a much smaller population than, say, a planet or even a country, that does make a lot more sense. So, okay. Piecing together a little bit at a time. All right, all right. <clears throat> um... I want to write about how much the ship has changed since I was put into stasis, but I can't even see it. I keep asking why I'm being kept prisoner. Nobody will tell me. The woman who keeps bossing me around, she's awful. I'm dying here. I keep telling her I'm sick. That's why I was in stasis to begin with, but she won't listen. She just treats me like I'm a stupid kid. Oh, that's great. Yeah, see, I was... I think I mentioned the last episode that I was wondering if she actually got the treatment or not, because I didn't mention the original messages that I saw. And this is making it look like, at least at this point, she has not. So does she fall victim to her illness, whatever it is? Or, uh, this is going to end badly. It's already gone shit for her to begin with, and I feel very bad for her for that. But 
Ah, and it's called a hate story as well. So this is going to get a lot worse, I think. I'm going to... Hmm. Oh, God. I think I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to be taking... I'm, I'm going to leave this game very depressed. <laughs> I tried to argue with her. Look at how pale I am. Can't you see that I'm sick? I swear I'm not making up what she said in response. Why must you be so rude? It's not polite for a girl to boast about her beauty. Oh, my God. I remember that stupid bitch... Talking about how the girl was, um, I, at least I, I'm pretty sure I remember her whining about how the Pale Bride would, like, boast of her beauty. This stupid fucking whore. Why must you be so rude? It's not polite for a girl to boast about her beauty. Beauty? I try not to cry in front of her. I've had, uh, I've had to do that a lot. I'm not beautiful. I have a compromised immune system. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Well, hopefully, if they're on a uh, generation, hopefully it's 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 a contained environment. Hopefully, it's decently sterilized. I shouted at her and ran away. I don't remember what she said back. Something about using big words, I think. How stupid is she? Well, judging from what I've seen of her so far, and now this, she's pretty fucking um idiotic. I was. Retarded might be a better way of saying that as well. She hates me. I don't know why, but she hates me. Stupidity. G generally, ignorance is, 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 a very good, um, is a very good reason for people to hate someone for absolutely no reason at all. That's why I'm not allowed to go, to go visit the ship plaza, though. Jung Su, the man who, tell, who keeps telling me to call him father, said the same thing. He promised me that I would have a chance to leave soon, though. I don't think he was being nice, though. I'll write him about more later. I'll write about him more later. Right now I have to go to bed or the woman will get mad at me again. So that's... Okay. I'll just let you keep reading. That's ominous. Thank you, Hune. I... <laughs> Please let me know when you've read all the ones I just gave you. Let you know? How I... Do I guess I go back to the main menu and talk to you there, I guess? Hmm. Okay, women's quarters, right. Dear Diary, you're great out, just checking. Dear Diary, I got in trouble today, but for the first time it was my own fault. A little bit at least. I still think sister-in-law was being crazy about it, but I should have known better. Now that I write that it looks ridiculous, uh, no, n now that I write that it looks ridiculous, God, what is living with these people doing to me? <laughs> the, cons uh, the computer console in my room doesn't have anything in it. I don't just mean it doesn't have all the cartoons I bought for, brought from Earth or any of my books or anything. I mean there's literally nothing there for me to entertain myself with at all. Nothing. Okay. I could see one of two potential things being here. The first one is a bit more of a leap of logic, that being that because the computer is in a woman's quarters and is therefore going to be accessed by a woman, but, but by women, by a woman, <laughs> plural, by a woman, therefore they've removed all information for the computers because, of the old, as we already know, women aren't supposed to write or anything, but we've seen women have access to computers in the, before and being able to, to uh, write messages, but so that's one assumption is that it's been removed specifically because it's in a quarter that's going to be used by uh, female occupants. The other op option is that maybe part of whatever caused this, um, de well, I don't want to say decline necessarily, but this leap backwards in culture may have something to do with the ship system. Something happened to the computers and they lost a lot of information maybe. Mmm. <laughs> That's that's the other alternative. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find that as we go, I suppose. So I thought to myself that maybe sister-in-laws might be different and checked. It wasn't. So instead, I decided to go check in Father's study. Not snooping or anything, just looking on his computer for books. I had a thought that it might be bad, but my real father never would have gotten to have said. What could be the harm? I was in there for maybe ten minutes, looking for anything that was even written in Korean. There was nothing. Oh, there was nothing, by the way. Every single book. Symbols that looked like Chinese characters. Every single one. I think maybe something terrible happened in the past. They made all the computer data get deleted. And everyone forgot how to read Korean. Okay. So, it looks like it, it, it might actually be... A combination of the two, actually. She's checked in other women's quarters and there was nothing. And then checked in her father's quarters and there was information. So, I'm thinking that uh, now... It looks like the pieces are 
aligning in such a way that suggests that women actually don't have anything on their computers, they're not supposed to use them, or at least not, uh, it's not proper to, but that, yes, maybe there was some big um, digital calamity of some kind that actually caused or contributed to the decline in, uh, <coughs> I inhaled something, the decline in standards, um, well, or decline in social order, I should say. Uh, which has resulted in society now being at this point on the ship. So it actually is possibly both. Uh, <clears throat> and they, uh, oh, yeah. one second. <coughs> and also, they all get really stupid about things. I don't think I'll ever find out why. It just sucks. <laughs> That's kind of an understatement. Anyway, I was only in there for ten minutes, searching through the console, when Young Suk walked in. I thought he was going to get angry, but actually, he just acted like he was really scared. He didn't scold me and he would drag me out. He just looked really worried. Okay. Maybe he's worried that a um, woman looked at his computer and that that's a bad thing. Or maybe there was something on the computer she wasn't supposed to be seeing. Mm -hmm. I only got in trouble when he brought me back to his wife. He told her, do you have any idea where she was? She was in the men's quarters looking through father's computer. Do you have any idea how he would react if he saw that? You're supposed to be watching her. Oh, never mind. That's why, apparently. <clears throat> she apologized repeatedly to him. I just didn't know what to say. I don't think sister-in-law did either. After he left, she gave me this really long and really awful lecture. Why would you go into the men's quarters? Why would you go looking for books? Why must you be so unfilial? Do you really not understand that you're a girl? Ah, God, this is going to be hard. I told her that I, I didn't understand. I mean, of course, I'm a girl, but I had no idea what she was talking about. When I told her that, she just lectured at me more. I hate her so much. Welcome to less civilized societies. Okay. Straight to hell. Oh, this is it, it's just getting better. It's a constant upward climb. <laughs> Dear diary. <laughs> okay, look. I know you're doing... <laughs> I really don't think you should start these awful entries. Well, the uh, awful. These really depressing entries. Dear diary, because it makes it sound way too normal and happy. This nightmare is gone for so long, I think I'm starting to forget what life used to be like. I have a new theory. Father was wrong about the cryostasis keeping me alive until I could be cured. I think it didn't work at all. I think I just died and went straight to hell. <laughs> I decided I'm going to write down all the things I used to be able to do just so I can remember. I used to be able to read books. I used to be able to have friends. Okay, God. That second one. I used to be able to have friends. Oh, the implications. <clears throat> I used to be able to go to school. And what... I have forgotten to keep to look for this. Oh my god, has that popped up in the other ones? Shit! I'll, I'll get to that in a second. I'm so sorry if there were others. Oh, now I should go back and check just to make sure. Um, yeah, I used to be able to go to school. I mean, on the one hand, a person these days would probably be like, I don't know, some kid the, 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 in, you know, the first world country would probably be like, oh, I don't want to go to school, how lucky. But then think about it in the whole normalcy element. And, and I guess socializing, it wouldn't mean that she was cooped up in a, you know, isolated area. It, it's something that she used to be able to that she no longer can and is beginning to actually regret the fact that she's lost it, even if she may not have liked it at the time. I used to be able to leave the home and go visit the plaza or anywhere else in the ship. I think I even used to be able to be in any part of the house I wanted and talk to visitors as much as I'd like. I have memories of always spending time with my father and mother and brother in the living room. I know my re my, uh, my real father thought being respectful was important too, oh, it, but I don't know. I'm so confused now. I thought he always taught me to be strong and to speak up for myself. Did he really say that? I'm being sarcastic, of course, but the scary thing is sometimes, sometimes I really do forget. Sometimes I think if... If I was a, just obedient to what sister-in-law tells me to do, it would make things easier. Maybe I should just give in and be passive. Just sometimes. I'm scared, though. What if I end up really believing that? Oh, God. Slowly losing your... Okay. I was... I don't know if she saw a give in to make things easier. Uh, yeah, yeah. Going with the flow just to, just to get rid of the um, antagonism that she's receiving because of that, I can understand the um the desire to just make things go smoother yes but uh i was gonna say however 
totally surrendering yourself like that and just forgetting who you are in the process not a good thing but then she does then she ended with just sometimes so you know going along when it is uh well when it is i guess necessary or when it there's a specific word i'm looking for but i can't quite think of it uh, more on the lines of when it would make things simpler in that moment but i just say that i don't know i'm i'm, I'm fucking stupid uh, but yeah, what if I really end up believing that? Yeah, what if you actually lose yourself in the process? That That is terrifying. Okay, you know, uh, what do you have to say? Hey, you know, what you gotta say? I don't even think I'm pronouncing that correctly, so... Hmm. So, there's probably one big question that's on your mind, isn't there? That That isn't being addressed at all, right? Maybe, and there's several questions, but I, is, is there one big one? What is that one big one? What happened in between the pale bride being f frozen and waking up that made society go all wrong, right? Yes, yes, that is exactly right. I figured. I mean, it's the obvious question. Sorry, I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid that mystery is forever lost to me. I guess it's pretty anticlimactic, sorry. Well, if you're an AI and if it was some big system, well, uh, system failure of some sort, then I guess it would have affected you as well, so that's understandable. There's no need to apologize, but you know, I'd appreciate it, I guess. I really want to know too. Whatever terrible thing happened, it must have been really, really big. But I'm afraid all the log data from before the year one was wiped and all the clocks were reset. I guess that's why it was called year one. Anyway, so nobody remembered what happened in between or even how long it was in between. It was hundreds of years, I assume, but I don't really know. So, yeah. Really sorry to let you down there. That part's going to be missed you forever. There's nobody who could possibly know. You'll just have to take it as a given. Sorry. I'll, 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 so far, I don't... You've done, like, one or two things that have made me a little, like... To make me think you're hiding something. Like when, uh, I think it was Mute was mentioned. But apart from that, you haven't done anything to really make me distrust you in any significant way, so I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for it for now. Okay. Wife. Wife, oh. Oh, first, actu actually, first, 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 first. Let me check. Did, were you, yes, you actually had. God damn it. Say, before you keep going, can I just interrupt you for a couple minutes? Sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm the idiot, the asshole here, who missed that. Don't you dare ask. <laughs> Don't you dare apologize for interrupting me or even call it that. Thanks, it's just... Well, you're going to find out so much about the impronounceable, but I know absolutely nothing about where you're from. It's not just that there's no, uh, been nobody to talk to for centuries. I mean, I, I don't like that either. But the ship is all I really know about, and it's been disconnected from all of the civilization for so long. So, you're from the United uh, Korean Space Probe Agency, right? Or I guess maybe a future version of it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> so. The guy I was talking to who sent me the message that uh, gave me the job to begin with, even he remarked on how the ship's name was, you know, difficult to pronounce, at least for... Which insinuates that he does not speak Korean, which... And, and the way that he kind of was talking to me made it sound like I wouldn't have been able to either. So, I don't think I am. My character, obviously, me, the narrator, add the red here. No, I'm not. I'm... but... So, I don't think the character is. It, from what I've seen so far, it does not sound as if my character is actually from the United Korean Space Ag uh, Probe Agency. So, I would say the answer is no, but I... If I said no... Could that fuck me over? I, I guess I'll say no. Because from what I can tell, it's being honest. Hopefully that'll be appreciated in the end. Oh, I had assumed you were. Well, uh, strictly speaking, only someone from the UKSPA would be authorized to access these systems, so I wouldn't really be able to help you if you weren't. 
So obviously I must have made some mistake, right? You actually are. Okay. I was wondering if that was going to come into play too. I should have mentioned that. But yeah, I was wondering because it did say unauthorized personnel should not have access. I, yeah, that, that should have been obvious. Um, you are actually, yes. Yes, I am. Yeah, okay. Aha, uh -huh, right. That's what I thought. Yeah. Ah, oh, yes. I must have misheard. You must, it must have been a misclick. But I really want to know about, about his Earth. I mean, I'm sort of aware of it. I know it's the planet we all come from. But I don't really know anything about oh, anything at all about it. I have some ideas, but I don't think they're really right. But you know all about it, right? I mean, even if you're not from there yourself, you know what it's like, right? Yeah, sure. How oh, wonderful. I sort of understand the basics. Like, it's a big sphere that everyone lives on, and there's unimaginably vast amounts of open space. And you can only see the stars at night, right? Well, depending on if you're in a sit, if you're in a location that isn't completely drowned out by light pollution, then. Uh, yeah, you can see a fair amount of stars, because the sky all just looks uh, all just looks blue during the day. Yep, all of this is just what I know from the Pale Bride. She never saw Earth. She was second generation, born on the ship. Okay, yeah, so she was very early generation. She was second generation, born on the ship after he had long left the Earth star system. But her parents were born on Earth, so she heard some stories from them when she was young, and I think they brought a lot of books and movies with them. I don't know. I'm just a little skeptical given uh, uh, given she was just a child when she learned all that. Maybe she got mixed up. Hmm. What can I actually ask in a yes or no question? I don't realize how hard this would be. Yeah, that's <laughs> when, when the only answer is going to be yes or no, you have to be very, very specific about your phrasing and it does really limit what you can ask because it leaves all the nuance and everything. Well, all right, so the impronounceable was originally supposed to be establishing a colony at some star or other 100 light years away. I know that. That was a really long time ago. Did other ships ever succeed where we didn't, or is it still just Earth? There are other planets. I mean, I'm out here on a spaceship on my own looking for yours. I would assume that there are other colonies, or at least habitats built elsewhere. Ah, well, that's wonderful to hear. Hmm. Oh, I know. Is it really true that on Earth, seasons aren't just metaphors? Like, oh, this sounds silly now that I actually put it into words. But the Pale Bride seemed to think that winter wasn't just something that happened to you emotionally. On Earth, it was when an entire part of the planet turned frigid. Does that sort of have any basis in reality? D yes, actually. Winter is a response Yeah, uh, of, of you know, where the, uh, the Earth is positioned, yes. I just... <laughs> Don't question how I phrase that. Wow. My word, that's amazing. Seriously, that sounds like... I can't even imagine that. This game is so fucking good. Just this. Just interacting with this character who has no experience outside of this one starship. And even then, only to what she remembers what based on what is in the system log, what is in the data. And then giving her the personality that she, she actually is curious. She doesn't know. She wants to know. She's been out here forever just thinking and thinking. And I, I really like this. I'm gushing, I know, but this is so well written. What else was there? Oh, um, there was a city that her parents were from. I think it was called Pyongyang? They described it as being amazing. If you looked up, all you would see were huge, bright white buildings as tall as a hundred or more decks. And on the... Um, I'm not sure of the word for this. It means sort of the, the bottom deck? Anyway, they said that at the bottom, the streets were lined with willow trees, and the tops of the buildings had flower gardens. Have you ever been to that city before? Or at least heard of it? Heard. Never been to. Don't know about the character. Really? So it does exist, then? It really does exist. Is it really as beautiful as I said? Truly? Sure. Sure. Wow, amazing, just amazing. I'd love to see that. I'd like for you to be able to see it because I feel really sorry for you. And I, <laughs> You know what it is? It just sounds so perfectly romantic. I'm not really, well, you've seen what the logs all talk about. I'm not used to things being romantic. It sounds nice. You're used to things being frigid and emotionless. Exactly. Apart from emotions like jealousy and conniving bullshit and so on and so forth. That's really my question, I guess. Is Earth worth being romantic about? Absolutely it is. It absolutely is. Ah. 
Well, I guess I've already wasted enough of your time with all my silly questions, haven't I? No, not a waste at all. I've enjoyed this. You can keep asking. Feel free to. And this is just... Well, please humor me once more. Then I promise I'll stop bothering you. It, it, it'll just... Okay. Do you think I could ever see Earth? I... I would assume it's possible. I don't know, though. But I doubt it sounds too final. So I'll say it's possible. Ah, well, thank you for saying that. It just... Oh, oh, okay, oh, oh, those whales, I didn't click anything, what? It just sounds so romantic, and I'd really like to see it someday. Thanks. No problem, you're welcome. Very well, I promise I'd stop wasting your time. So, what did you want to ask me about? Ask you... Uh, I, uh, nothing, really. I was just making sure that I hadn't missed anything. Um, hell prisoner, women's quarters... Yeah, okay. Oh, hi. Hi? <laughs> Say, do you mind taking a break for a couple minutes just to chat? Uh, go ahead. Thanks, I appreciate that. Really, I appreciate that you're here. You, you don't... God, I, I, I know you've been starved for contact. You don't have to... It's not an inconvenience. I know you've got ulterior motives. What they are, I'm not really sure, but most people do. And that's all right all the same. The fact you're aware of that, while I, I, yes, you're not naive, but that's kind of depressing to hear. I know you have ulterior motives, and I'm fine with that, and just, okay. I'm glad you're reading these logs, though. Even if you don't really care, it's better than nobody from out into the ship ever seeing them. Which is what I thought for sure would happen. Or am I just being cynical? If so, my apologies. Please, tell me, what do you think about what you've read of the Pale Bride? It's tragic. It is absolutely tragic. So, and I've not even delved that far into it yet. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you say that. I'm really glad to hear you say that. Nobody else seemed to think so. There's something... Well, here. I've added another message for you. Just, well, why don't you, why don't you read it yourself? That sounds very... Oh god, what am I gonna see? At least use my real name. I'll come to that in a second. Were there any new ones? Any other new ones? You shouldn't run okay. It doesn't look like it. Confidence, not for new air. Yeah, okay, so it's just this. Oh boy. Dear Jari, this week I tried to convince the old man to put me back into stasis by going on a hunger strike. It didn't work. Obviously. On the plus side, at least I figured out where that stupid name they all keep calling me came from. Sorry, that last bit was written yesterday. I, I, I couldn't bring to keep myself going. I just kept crying. I still would be, but, well, it, it just gets exhausting after a while. I'm too tired to cry. Things aren't going to get better. They can't get better. I'm not going to get back, put back into stasis. I'll be dead by the time I'm 18. Why, oh why, did I ever agree to be frozen in the first place? The future can't make me better. I'd rather die with my family there, at least, rather than these awful Kims. Ah, oh, Jesus. Stuck in a world that hates her, basically. That she hates. Alien and deprived of everything she's ever known. And she knows she's probably going to die. I say probably because I'm assuming they couldn't cure her. Don't know for certain, but I'm assuming that much. So, probably going to die. God. I wonder if they'll realize I was right after I die. Anyway, hunger strike. Just, yeah, just jump back to that. Yeah, just, just dying, hunger strike, right, that thing, that, the thing from last night. It was really hard, and I kind of cheated by stinking into the kitchen while nobody was looking, but I, I at least convinced Father to listen. Fine, he said uh, by the fourth dinner time. I'll show you why I can't. Up until he said that, I had been hopeful. Everything would be fine if he just put me back, I thought, but... Sorry. 
I guess I've been trying to write this for two days now. It's really hard. Anyway, he took me to go see the egg I hatched from, his stupid name for the stasis pod. When he said hatch, the worst possible thing came to mind. Worse, it turned out to be true. Yeah, he smashed it, I think I remember right. In order to get me out, he had smashed apart the glass with a hammer because he was too stupid to know how to use the pod and actually open it. <laughs> okay, that's not really necessarily stupidity. I mean, if you're going to give a caveman a fucking, like, a modern cell phone, they wouldn't fucking know shit how to use it. So that's not so much stupidity as it just, it's, it's unfamiliarity. I don't know if the man himself is actually an idiot or not, technically speaking. Anyway. He had smashed apart the glass with a hammer. The pod was still full of shards. All my hope died when I saw that broken glass. Oh, that's, 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 that's very fitting metaphor. Your hopes were just as smashed as the egg you hatched from. The time was right to bring you into this world, he said. I don't remember what I said. Something I've seen, probably. It wasn't enough. I know it's hard, Pale Bri, but it is for a greater purpose. What was the point of arguing? It was broken and nobody in this awful future would know how to fix the pod now. And instead, I argued what I could. Why do you keep calling me that? I said to him. He responded by pointing at an inscription my real father had left on the pod. A message for me to read when I woke up. The first line was written in Chinese characters. His idea of being fancy, I suppose. But he explained them in Korean underneath. See, the old man told me, the rest is foreign and archaic, but it names you at the top, the Pale Bride. It didn't say that. It didn't say that at all. I shrieked at him in response, you idiot, you moron, you illiterate. Probably some other things too, I can't remember exactly. I was furious. Are you stupid? That's not how those characters read. It says, to my sick daughter, sick daughter, sick daughter, you illiterate monster, it says sick daughter, me. He started to argue, but then stopped. I think he was patronizing me, patronizing me as if I can't read simple Korean script. He just asked in the smuggest voice, Then what shall I call you, child? I screamed. I'd already told him a thousand times before. Hune! My name is Hune! Oh! Oh! Yes. Yeah, there's a shocking revelation for you. I can guess what you're going to ask, and yes, it's me. Well, you asked for all those logs, right? That's the information you were looking for, wasn't it? I'm not really an AI. I mean, I am now. But I used to be a girl, and I just thought... Well, I thought it would be easier to just pretend to be the lo uh, to be the lo the log keeping program rather than explain the whole situation. I don't really wish to drag out the point. You've already heard enough from me about me. I'm sure you don't want more. I would greatly appreciate it more because now I'm even more curious. One, how did you end up as an AI? Like as in, how how, how was that achieved? Given the state of the ship and everyone's technological illiteracy, how? Well, ignorance. Technology ignorance. It, it, illiteracy kind of works in a, in a very in a, in a figurative sense, but technological ignorance. How? The other thing is why? Hmm. I'm going to assume it had something to do with preserving you because you did die. But why exactly do they preserve you? What was the point? Is it because they still thought you were special? I mean, I'm sure you don't want more. I mean, I understand. I figured out what you were actually looking for at the very start. It's obvious, really. Well, I've re-enabled admin access. Just please, be honest with me. What is it that you wanted to know about? Well, here's the point. Yes, technically yes, this is what I was here for. But, and I don't know if the game would go to this. I, 
I don't know if the game would quite is quite programmed or at least written in such a way that it understand well that the well, okay bleh. I don't know if it's been taken into consideration that there is no a technicality here want versus need I needed to know the admin password to get into the uh, the, the primary drive but I want to know about you want, need versus want want versus need job actual curiosity and really piqued interest I but she might say this is a lie but even though I am being honest now yes I do want to know about but does she mean it initially I I don't you know um pop that there just in case I ruin something here because I am being honest, I do want to know about her now, but I don't know if this is going to screw me over or not, and I'm supposed to say this. Really? You really mean that? Yes. Wow, I... I don't know what to say. I'm not really used to this. It's... I... Are you blushing? Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to me after so many years after what happened. It's just really nice to be heard. If I could hug you right now, I would. Oh, that makes it even more depressing. Okay. Okay. Uh, see, so what was it again? I think it was download, or I know I need. It's a human here. Current reference include disabled or into command line available command download. Disable AI help as you implement enable. Uh, I guess download and this is gonna a password maybe. Download. Admin access required. Please use Sue first. Oh. Password provides administered access requires password to use. That would be. You know, oh. oh shit! <laughs> right. I t I'm completely illiterate when it comes to anything like this. I'm very sorry. You are now recognized. Warning: System error detected. Data corruption AI core. One has been detected. Try recovering now. Data corruption in AI core. Uh, yes? Now it's in to repair it. Oh, please don't tell me this is going to, like, kill her or something. And it's making me wait, and the tension is building with every single point that it's going up. Oh, God. Oh, please, 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 please don't let me have. Kind of go. Oh. Oh. Um. Right. Now mute is available. Okay. Uh, what were the exact commands again? Download, disable AI, enable AI, help as you quit reactor. Quit reactor? Decrypt. We have we have new ones now. PSS, copy, power. Uh, what, does download do anything now? Starting an active systems download will permanently terminate session. If you want to continue, now your person will be downloaded. Oh, um. No. No. Okay, I don't want to fuck this up. This, I feel really bad about this. Oh, all right. Shit, pipe, thank you. Okay, activated. Oh, 
Now, is this going to require? I, I don't remember how I activated Hune. Yeah, okay, usage, yeah, personality. And, uh, yeah, mute. Okay. Oh, and I believe I needed the asterisk, too, so that wouldn't have worked anyway, even if uh, it did require... Uh, to do, um, uh, if, it, if, it, if, it, if it required parameters in order to actually deactivate the AI. Okay, so. Enable AI. And then we want asterisk. Mute. Oop, shit. Oh, Jesus. Okay. <sighs> What's gonna happen now? Okay, okay, what the hell is going on? Wait, remote connection established? Is there somebody out there? Mess of the ship? Okay, sorry, I'm just taking inventory of systems right now. Could you give me a second here? Like, I've been on a commission for 622 years! Am I think little stars in the background? Alright, that's kind of messed up. Anyway, I'm up to speed now. Longs are basically saying that nothing has happened since I went offline except the ship's slowly losing power and the main reactor has seen better days. But you! Hello! You're the first person from the ship I've had contact with in Novella as far as I can remember. I'm Mute, AI in charge of the unpronounceable security operations. It's nice to meet you. Okay, it looks like I can't actually get any text input from you. I'm guessing this is all that crazy ass murderous's fault. I'm sorry. I knew something was gonna change, and it just dropped a fucking hammer on my head. Oh god, no! Whoa, this game was really fucking me. Okay, what? But why don't you tell me about like, yourself anyway? Like, sorry, this is kind of a rude question, but are you a man or woman? Totally, what? No. Gotcha, sir. That's good to know. Do you have any idea how hard it is to talk to someone you don't even know what uh, that much about them? So where are you from? Earth, or are you from one of the colonies? Wait, there are colonies, right? I mean, I always get the impression this ship was supposed to be founding one. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. So were you, uh, are you from one of them or from Earth? Yeah, I think it's letting me develop my history here. I'm gonna say I'm from a colony because that's more interesting. I'm not saying that Earth is, you know, awful, just a little bit boring. Eh, I'm from Earth and there's colonies in space. Cool, I wish I could ask you what that's like. Rough. <laughs> Not all of them are, uh, <laughs> are quite exactly um, self-sufficient as it is right now. And even the ones that are struggling. What the fuck am I doing? Like, my memory only goes back 300 years before getting deactivated, so I'm not really up to date. Pretty much all my knowledge of anything before the year zero comes hand in, uh, second hand from the Pale Bride's childhood diaries and, well, man, they're about as childish as it possibly gets. Guess I'm not really gonna find out more uh, with that line of question, though. Right. Hmm, okay, what else is important that I can ask in binary questions? Oh, I know. So, are you married yet? Why? Why and no. Ah, fair enough. What's that fucking look? Related to that, I, uh, don't really know much about spaceships or anything, but I can get a visual on yours, and it looks really, really small. Is it just you all alone there? I, yeah, 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 I'm a solo operation, apparently. A man in the middle of space, all on his own. Sounds awfully romantic. Get that fucking little smirk off your face. I see a fang there, too. I see a fang! I like that, but stop it. I don't like what you're insinuating. Well, I think that's about all I can think of for now. Sorry, it's not really to go off of, I know, although I guess I did get the most important things. I'm going to assume, against my better judgment here, I have some um, other assumptions going on at the same time, but I'm going to assume, for my benefit, that by most important things, you meant the whole, are there colonies, are you from a colony or Earth, not the bit about me being single. I'll let you know if I think of anything else, alright? Anyway. From what it looks like, you were going over some logs of that crazy murderous bitch, right? I'd love to help you with those instead. As not a bonus, I promise I won't ever commit mass murder unlike a certain someone. Oh god, what happened on this ship? And... Uh, 
Please tell me there are nuances to the whole murdering thing or that she's exaggerating. I don't know. She clearly doesn't seem to like Hune. I... Oh, God. Oh, well, Hune didn't seem to like her much either. Apparently she was hiding her from me. Or trying to hide uh, evidence of her existence. And I... There was even corruption? Did Hune do that? Did she actually corrupt the AI core? But, I mean, I, I, I suppose it's, um... I, I suppose it's reassuring that you're not going to ever try killing me. I'm trying to think of a uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Can't remember her name. It's the AI from System Shock Two. Damn it. Okay. Helpful notes and. So nothing new here, but there are just only a tree and then question of written. Oh no, this is the new one apparently, okay. <laughs> right. Look for the thing that actually is me oh hello. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, so here's what a family tree is supposed to look like. None of that weird, cluttered mess that Hune did, but here's a few notes of my own about some of the women that you might actually care about. Smith Song Hee. Older sister of the main Smith branch, married into a Huang family in 285, widowed in 314, taken in by younger Huang brother in 317, no sons. Oh Sojin, uh, 294, three, three, uh, 2322, married Smith Song Min in uh, 310, no sons or daughters of her own. Zhang Mi, 298-322. Courtesan, purchased by and married Smith Sung Min in 313, no sons. Hana, 305-22. Uh, 322. Courtesan, entertained Smith Sung Min. No sons or daughters. Smith Min He, uh, Smith Sung Min's daughter by the Courtesan Zhang Mi, promised a park family but for, not formally married. Courtesan Zhang... Oh, no sons, right, yeah, okay. Uh, all right. Well, I think that speaks for itself, doesn't it? That's what a genealogy is supposed to look like. Hope that's more helpful. I guess. Okay. So we are still missing things. Marital admonitions, part seven. So maybe she will have different reactions to some of these messages? Yes, okay. So to go back through and make sure she isn't saying anything is that I don't think it was blinking, I was just making sure. Okay, so what is it you want to know about? I wanna show me something, I'll see what I can find for you, okay? Okay, yeah, it wasn't blinking, right. Making sure. So I'd have to go back through and actually check things, and she will potentially have not new, not only new information, but even potentially new uh, data to look through. Okay. Gotcha. You want to hear about the Smith family? Oh yeah, you're gonna love this. Those people had problems like you would not believe. Technically, I belong to the Ryu family, but, well, I spent a lot of time keeping up on the Smith family's gossip. They used to be the most important noble house, above even the Kims, you know. So I know a lot about them. What sort of things do you want to hear about? Both. Both, but I mean... I'm assuming I can come back and select the other one if there's two of if it, these are both going to give me options. Like, because I remember there was one with Hune where both buttons gave me options. And I had to come back to press the other one. So I'm going to say this one for now. I can definitely do scandalous. Oh, you're going to you're going to absolutely love this. It's really really hot. Unfortunately, it probably doesn't go into as much detail as you'd like. But well, well, just see for yourself. And still there because I assume that's. Yeah, that's. I'm assuming it is because general history. Oh, sure, it's all very fascinating stuff. Problem is, somebody encrypted it all in such a way that I can't actually access it at all. No way I can. Captain's orders, unfortunately. I'm literally incapable of disobeying. But if you have admin access, you can get them yourself. Just type decrypt block 3 from the cons and then love them. Okay, and I'll just say that I, I knew there was a decrypt uh, option available now. But there we go. Just type decrypt block 3 from the cons and then open it up. Okay, decrypt block 3. Got you. We'll do that now. Then come back and... You still have things to say. I... I'll... I mean, I, I didn't see anything else. And that doesn't really... 
Uh, home. Uh, with this. No, not not that back. Home. There we go. It wasn't triggering for some reason. Before I turn it Okay, so we want decrypt block three. Black, black, black. <laughs> Fuck! I swear I'm not a terrible writer. Decrypt block three. I'm decrypting block now success. Okay. We've decrypted new information. Okay, okay, okay. I like that music. Okay. Block two is new stuff. Oh shit, hello. Ah! Okay, looks like you've gotten the decryption sorted out. Great. I can, in fact, see everything in that block now. And where did you even get ad admin access from, anyway? Only the Ryu family was supposed to have that, and it's not like Hyune could tell you an unauthorized person. Weird. Utterly weird. Well, anyway, I've got them. So, here you have it. The sorted, sealed files of the Smith family. Yay. But that still makes me wonder if, there, if there's anything else she remarks to. Blind to. I don't know what the first one I pressed with her was. Do you still have... You're still highlighted here. Oh, yeah, okay, never mind. This is just... Okay. That isn't what Smith Song Jun was like at all. His death was a tragedy, and for a lesser man to make light of it... It's appalling is what it is. Can you believe his nerve? Fine. Song Jun never married, and he liked to drink maybe a little more than was good for him. But he was a great man. Clever, charming, filial, and respectful. I, look, he wasn't perfect. He was as damn close to you get, though. You want to know what he uh, what he was really like? Don't listen to a single word from the likes of Kyung Sung. Here's a more fitting depiction. I've added some longs that actually do him justice. You should really read them. And that's your part of me. You just want to go back and just keep looking for new information and just fill out as much as possible. But I feel like that might actually get me lost. Contempt? Sure. Let's just go into that. She was an awfully good friend of mine, and we chatted a lot. You have to understand, though, she might not have been a very good wife. It's absolutely not her fault. It's like when I reported to my mistress, Ryu uh, Jaihua. None of the problems in her marriage were her own fault. She was just the wife of a lousy man, plain and simple. And mostly, she tried to do the best she could. She was a really great woman, so please don't look down on her, okay? Already two very, very different personalities here between Yune and Mute. My example. Oh yes, him. Would you like to hear about how how? Wait, would you like to hear how you feel about Smith Kyung Sam? Uh, I believe this. Sure. Oh okay. Let me be as clear as I possibly can. Fuck that guy. I know I shouldn't say that about a man, not least of all a dead one, but I don't care. He didn't have any respect for the dead either, so as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't deserve any from me. There's only one thing related to him that you need to see, and it's not even him. It's a letter to his father from someone who actually did matter. All he ever did was complain about the main branch and the trash to, and, and trash the good name of uh, the name of the oh the good name of a good man. Okay, that's all you need to know. If you say so. Here comes the fall. Nothing. Okay. I'm with a good fortune. Alright. So, like, you've talked to her a fair bit, right? Fair bit. Uh, sure, yeah, that's an understatement. What do you think of Hune? I don't hate her. Seriously? You can stand her? Look, from what I've seen, she's perfectly fine. I don't know what, what you know about her inside of her or something, maybe, but from what I, I've seen and dealt with, I like her. Did she say about the whole mass murder thing, or did she conveniently leave that out? Uh, she didn't tell me, no. No, of course not. I'm, sh I'm sure even that awful bitch is ashamed of what she did. Or maybe she just wanted to impress you. I don't think most men are turned on by that kind of lunacy, so I can't... <laughs> You're talking to the wrong person for that shit. <laughs> I am strangely drawn to crazy. So I can see why she'd hide that. 
It's probably better if you don't hear, uh, hear it from me, though. I don't think you'd be, even believe it. Better to ask her yourself. Okay. So what I'm going to do is give you an entire block that's full of nothing but questions for her. Oh, God. This is going to be fun. It might be a little hard to get the whole story out of her, but if you fake sympathy, she'll probably actually believe you. Well, so far, until this whole murder thing, I have experienced genuine sympathy for her. What happened to her sucked. So there you are. A few questions to give to her. Drag the truth out of her. Then tell me how crazy you think she is. A whole block of questions. Uh... Terrible child. Okay, nothing. What was the one I clicked on? Armor held prisoner. Nothing. Her name. Nothing. I may end up cutting this out if it goes on too long. I just nothing. I probably will. Okay, here we go. The new era, what do you gotta say? Oh, I didn't really know anything about this Kim Young Suk. I only knew about men who were actually of some importance. I don't think I can help you there, sorry. Okay, well. Thanks, I guess. Alright, confidence, here we go. So, you want to talk about Queen, uh... Queen Ryu Jaihua, huh? She was kind of more than just my queen. It's... Well, I guess I have to explain my own position for it to make sense. So, I... Yeah, I appear to be just a woman, but that's just my personal appearance. I'm actually, you know, a computer program. So when I say I was, uh, well, still am, really, in charge of security for the whole ship, I mean it. I was an actual official. I outranked pretty much everyone on the ship, save for the Emperor, and of course, by extension, his primary wife. So while I might have reported directly to the Emperor in theory, and I did with others in the, pa in the, in the past, Emperor Ryu and Ho chose to let that sort of thing go through his wife instead. What this is all getting at is, for all intents and purposes, she was my real mistress, not him. We were pretty close. Well, as close as you can be to your better, anyway. I liked her a lot. She... that look. She was actually really intelligent for a woman and was surprisingly tough for a noble. I know, I know, that, that, is, that doesn't really sound attractive, but trust me, with her it was pretty okay. She managed to be great while still knowing her place. So, yeah, like I said, I liked her a lot. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked here, this is my point. I remember those admonitions because I actually helped her write them. I mean, I didn't write a single word or anything, but she asked me for advice. Mostly she was just modest. So let me see. I really want you to get the right impression of her, you know? She kind of wrote a lot, well, nobody's perfect. Don't let that cloud your judgment over, though, right? I mean, I'm not impressed either, but at least it means you'll be able to see what she was like. I've got three for you to see. Well, one's actually about me, but still, it shows you just how good a person she was. If you want to see the rest of the admonitions, though, let, uh, let me know. I can do that, too. Yeah, um, your whole buying into the traditional bullshit uh, not exactly. It's not, it's not exactly, uh, ingratiating me to you much. The woman should know her place. Now, fuck off. No, I... Uh, right, so, her admonition's in. Well, when your parents do find uh, you a wife, your mother probably has a set of these prepared for her. Uh, so many she knows how to write, at least. Anyway, the point is, it's considered fairly typical for a new gentleman's bride to get a series of verses explaining what will be expected of them as a wife, as well as just friendly advice. Well, the reason why these ones aren't written in verse is pretty simple, I guess. It's because that Queen Ryu Jaihua had absolutely no ear for it. Honestly, personally, I think that's pretty endearing, but she was really worried about the pale bride since she was a younger, prettier girl for her husband and all, so she wanted to make a really strong impression. I suggested to her that, uh, that she do what she was good at and just write them in prose. Since if she was as uneducated as I thought she would be, and she was, it's not like she'd know any better anyway. Well, I guess that backfired a little, since it turned out that she was so uneducated that she didn't actually know any letters. Whoops. Anyway, here, let me just give you a, a, a giant info dump and, and pass along all the admonitions and see for yourself. Right. Jesus, you have more?
Well, I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that letting my mistress show that crazy bitch the admin password was sure to the greatest mistake any man has ever made in the entire ship's history. Haha, <laughs> whoops, didn't realize you'd actually use it, as if anything good could have possibly come from trusting a woman with that sort of power. I'm not even going to remark on that. I mean, I mean, I'm sure he was counting on her not knowing how to use the computer rather than being some sort of genius with it, but come on. Well, I'm sure you'll see for yourself soon enough. Oh boy. Figure shit. <clears throat> Just remember that all of these are new. Okay, so it looks like that was all the old ones. Which I now have a massive catalog of new... Okay. But this has all... This is already approaching more or less what I, what I wanted to do for the episode's length. Uh, it'll probably be a little bit shorter, but I will save all of the new content for the next episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this because I know I definitely fucking did. This just gets more and more interesting by the fucking moment. It's, just, it's incredible. It never ceases to draw me in even further. When I think I'm already invested as, as invested as I can be, they throw me in the loop. Just... Also, uh, actually, out of curiosity, what was the... What was the block she mentioned about questions? Is it gonna be like I hear something? Mutes questions, okay, yeah. Right, well, like I said, um, when we come back, we'll go through all the new bullshit. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next episode.